I want to take a little time and talk to you about crate hackers. You may have heard about crate hackers in one way or another. Maybe you've seen some online marketing. There's a few things to keep in mind about what crate hackers is and what crate hackers isn't. You could find reviews crashing crate hackers because crate hackers at its core was building a playlist and a lot of people are saying you're not a real DJ if you're letting someone else build your playlist. Real DJs build their own playlist. Anyone saying this has already completely missed the point of crate hackers. Crate hackers isn't about taking away your skills or your soul as a DJ, your ability to put songs together. A mark of a good DJ is the ability to program and know what songs go together, know what songs to play next to each other, pump up the crowd or that sound good together. You're a programmer of music, you're a programmer of events. These playlists can help you see what works for other DJs in other markets, in your market, other areas of the country, and it also might help you discover or rediscover songs that you haven't played in your market in years, but maybe that song is blowing up in another market. Maybe it's even blowing up in your market, but because you're not going out and watching other DJs, you don't know that this song is actually going over really well in your market. People aren't recording requesting it, but it's one of those hidden gems and you don't know if it's coming back until you see someone else playing it and using it successfully. These playlists can serve as a inspiration for growth. If you're not sure what to play and you're practicing a session and you're just trying to get better at mixing and trying to figure out what songs go together, grab a Crate Hackers playlist and play it straight through front to back and challenge yourself with every combination and transition to see if you can make your transitions better, to see if you can make combinations better. Maybe you can even work on your word plays, play with stems, see what you can do with mashups. Are you feeling a different track? This one sounds like it might go better into that. Slot it in, jump back into the playlist. The curated playlist can also help you with some genre inspiration. I had a 90s R&B party I DJed in the beginning of 2020. I absorbed myself into 90s music. I asked the client for must plays. I listened to 90s on 9 on Sirius XM every single day, hours at a time. I was pulling up Spotify playlists just to find 90s songs that I might be for Getting. I was DJing in the 90s, but it was the late 90s, and a lot of the 90s R&B stuff from the mid and early 90s was just outside of my comfort zone. I did this event before Crate Hackers existed. After Crate Hackers came along, I was able to compare the playlist curated by other DJs with my own, and I was able to expand my own 90s R&B crates for future themed events, and I was given validation that my choices were in line with what people were playing in other markets. The client was super happy with what I did in 2020, seeing that what I brought to the table by myself was pacing what other DJs were doing with the same genre boosted my confidence. And then seeing what they were doing with the same genre gave me the ability to build an even better 90s R&B playlist that I used when I redid that event for the same client three years later. Do not give up your soul. Crate Hackers will not DJ for you. And if you're joining Crate Hackers because you want other people to tell you what to play and how to play it, that's that's not the point of Crate Hackers. If you don't wanna join Crate Hackers because you wanna make your own playlist, cool. That's fine, go make your own playlist, knock yourself out. If you join Crate Hackers, you might see that you have a niche that you could share with other people in the community. Crate Hackers is not about taking from other people, it's about giving and sharing to a community. If you come in there to just take, 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 Crate Hackers is about the community. Crate Hackers won't DJ for you, it won't curate music for you, it won't mix for you. If that's what you're looking for, you don't belong here. And there's no hard feelings. If you have someone come to you and say, hey, can you play an event doing this genre that you're not familiar with, you can come to Crate Hackers for inspiration, use those playlists, combine some together, figure out what works, build your own playlist, and now you have a jumping off point. Crate Hackers can help you if you're not sure how to mix and key or what songs go together. Crate Hackers can show you how to put songs together, so when you start building your own playlist, it makes a lot more sense. But don't come to Crate Hackers to let Crate Hackers do everything for you. You're not going to grow if you want this tool to become your only creative thing. If you're already an established DJ, Crate Hackers can still provide you a ton of inspiration because you're seeing what other DJs do, you're seeing what other DJs are putting together, and you're learning from a community of people 
who have different experiences than you do. You have a tool that provides you a way to exceed, succeed, and grow in your DJing with a community around you. In Crate Hackers, you can ask a question and get answers from people who you know are DJs, you know are professional, and you know want to help you and other DJs succeed. 